Hi everyone, my name is Lucas. My name is Liam. My name is Tanner. And today we wanted to do a science experiment for you. So Liam's teacher asked me to come to his class to do some experiments that describe force and motion. And so I wanted to get something together to demonstrate those activities that they could learn a little bit more about these principles. So I'm going to ask Liam here, Liam, can you tell everyone what the definition of force is? The definition of force is a push or pull. Right. It affects the motion of an object. That's exactly right. So there are forces everywhere around us, right? So gravity is a force that holds us to the ground all the time. Forces are energies that can change directions of objects. They can make an object that's sitting still start moving. They can make an object that's moving change direction or even stop. And so there's forces acting all around us. One of the forces we're going to look at today is described in Newton's third law of motion, which basically says that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So we're going to study that today by making a rocket. rocket. All right, so we're going to make a rocket. And this is something you can do at home with stuff that you can find throughout the house. So we're going to take a look. Here's the stuff that we have. We've got a two liter soda bottle with some pencils duct taped to it to hold it. This will be our rocket. And then in order to shoot the rocket, we're going to mix some vinegar, baking soda. And then in order to pressurize the rocket, we've got a cork here that we're gonna put in and that'll close off the rocket. And when the reaction starts to happen, it's gonna shoot out and hopefully shoot the rocket really high. Now, if into you can't space. Find <laughs> into space, that's exactly right. If you can't find a cork, I hear that Hobby Lobby is a great place to look for one. So there's your uh, opportunity to go find one of those. All right, so we're going to try this and see what happens, and then we'll talk about uh, I'll talk about force from there. Okay, so we're going to get ready to shoot our rocket. We've got our two-liter bottle set up. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put some baking soda inside a paper towel and roll it up. And the reason we want to roll it up inside a paper towel is so the reaction doesn't happen right away. The key here is that you want your paper towel. Oh, thank you, Tanner. The key is you want your paper towel small enough so that it will fit through the neck of the bottle and not get stuck because you have to get it down in there kind of quickly. Okay, and then we're going to pour some vinegar into the bottle. Liam, can you hold the bottle for me? Perfect, thank you. And here is somewhere where you can experiment because you don't want too much vinegar. Uh, if you do, the reaction will happen way too quickly. And if you don't put enough in, then it won't go high enough. So we're going to put in just a couple of inches of vinegar and we'll see if that works. That should be enough. You think that should be enough? Yep, All right. That should be enough. Okay, and then we're going to take our paper towel baking soda, put it in, and try to get as much in there as you possibly can. You want to put the cork in and tighten it, turn it upside down, get back, back away, get back. and blast it off! just saw us shoot off our rocket. What did you guys think about that? It was awesome. awesome. Yeah, you guys like that? It, flies, yeah. it almost flies up all the way to space. Almost all the way to space. Yes. So the reaction that you just saw, when we mixed the baking soda and the vinegar, we created a product called carbon dioxide. And that was the gas that shoots out of the bottom. And so the way rockets are lifted off into space is by a force called thrust. So thrust is an upward motion that's created by an equal and opposite downward motion by the expulsion of gas or expulsion of gas. And that's how they use it to shoot rockets up into space. Right, Tanner? Right. And so, it's a push. It is. It's definitely a push. So that's one of the forces that it pushes the rocket uh, with the uh, action reaction going one way. It pushes the rocket up the other way. And so this is something you can do at home to practice and learn about force and motion and make something pretty cool that you can shoot pretty far. Right, guys? Yep. Yep. All right. You guys keep doing that science. Thank you.